Hey guys. I'm really, I'm really scared. I want to talk about it. I'm really scared about so much stuff, particularly Amanda. It's been on my mind a lot and I haven't been talking about it. Like, she's gonna move out. Well, it's like I'm, it's like I'm accepting it or deciding it. She's gonna move out. She said she wanted to move out, and she, I said that, I think that uh, she should. She's she's running away from the confrontation, and that you know the only way you're gonna be able to overcome something is if you confront it. If you run, if you if you leave a problem, the problem stays in our mind, and it fucks us up until we confront it. And by the, I don't know if you guys know, but like. She, she's fucked around on me in the past with some other guy. She was spending months with... When I first moved out to L.A., she was still hanging out with her ex-boyfriend a lot. She was lying to me about it. I don't really talk about that. I never really brought it up. I'm not trying to justify what I did. But I understand why I did it. Because... I wanted a connection, and I was so afraid to connect with Amanda, I was just so afraid to open up, because it's already so deep, like to go even deeper than that is, it's fucking freaky. My mind flashed to the global warming, and then to the homeless, and it's like all these things that I'm thinking about, all these grandiose things that are popping into my mind, and I'm like, I'm going to change the... I'm going to change things. I'm going to change the planet. It's like it's a distraction from what I'm feeling, which is just terrified. I don't know. I'm, of course I know what I want, but okay. Like, I want to be with Amanda, but then I meet other people, and other people seem like they don't have as much anger. And I don't know if I'm learning what I'm learning from my relationship with Amanda because she's so angry. I'm not going to put this on myself. I, I'm very aware our entire relationship has essentially been her getting pissed off and me trying to make things like smooth things. It's always her freaking out and crying and me trying to stay calm and like I just I'll go crazy sometime like I'll go start screaming sometimes I'll, I'll shut off to it but primarily my folk I've always been trying to and it's like it's this this bottomless pit this bottomless well of anger and the other people other friends of mine don't have that much anger But then, at the same time, they're not as tuned into pain as Amanda is. Doesn't seem like it. But then, maybe it's all an illusion. Maybe everybody's got the same. So she said she wanted to move out, and I said I thought it was her. I, I said that I wanted her to stay, and she said that she was going to stay. And then she said she wanted to move out again, and I just I'm gonna. I can't make her do things. I'm not trying to manipulate her physically. I want to tell her what I want, and I want to connect with her. But you know what? We've broken up several times, three times in the past, and if she wants to, you know, we're not dating, like dating. I didn't even hang, I hung out there on New Year's for a little while. Went to a show that she directed, and we hung out a little bit there, and then I went to a party with some people from work, and then I went over to Dusty's where I work and, like, hung out after we closed. It was amazing. I was connecting with all these people. I, I was ha talking to this one guy at the bar, Dan, and I was saying, he, he was like, no, reality, and he blew out the, this candle, and he was like, see, now this is reality. I said, that if we, it's reality because we believe it. But if everyone in this restaurant believes that that candle is lit, it's lit. It's like when you turn away, everything resets itself. And when you turn back, it's like you remember it a little different kind of but not really 
But if you remember something, I, I believe, I really think that what we believe, like when we walk around the corner, what we, if, if we really believe something, then it's real. It's just God I'm like. But that's the thing, it's not just, it's only real to the person who believes it. Which is why everyone has to believe something to make it real. Collective consciousness, the collective, the power of it. And I was telling him that, I was like, and he was like, so make everyone in this restaurant believe it. Do it. Do it, dude. Do it. And I was freaking out and I said, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Everyone's drinking. I'm afraid to, people react so violently to that kind of stuff. I mean, to tell someone, I, want, that I believe that we can light this candle. I believe this candle can be lit with belief. It's a little sidetrack, a little side note from Amanda and my relationship, but it was just to, to accentuate that I had a really great time away from her, Amanda, and it's possible, and like I spend so much time with her that I'm, I'm, I kind of forget that the world's amazing away from her, and that she's not the source of my confidence, and she's not the source of my self-esteem. I'm the source of that. And it, I've been bouncing myself off of her for so long I've gotten comfortable with myself. But I have to let her live her life and I'll connect with her. And there will always be time for it. There's no there's no finality to anything. And she wants to move out so I'm gonna let her move out and then good because that gives me an opportunity to explore other people. And without this constant source of fear breathing down my neck about it What is she so afraid of? That I'm going to hang out with someone, like them better, and leave? Like, if she's really that afraid of that, then she has to make herself better. Lead by example, and I want to be around it. But if she's just going to spend her time crying about how things aren't going her way, fuck that. I feel like we can get through to anybody, but then I just feel like I'm banging my head against the wall so much, maybe I'm trying to force it. And the way to get through to people is to stop forcing it. Like these last videos that I made. Thomas, man, thank Thomas, the Daxter. Thomas, I read your comment, and you're right, and I appreciate it that you said that it's not about what I'm trying to do with, you know, with recycling or global warming or anything, homeless people. It's how I'm going about it. Like, I'm not humbling myself. I'm not, like, I'm trying to change it from a distance rather than just let it happen. And I want I want to let it happen. I want to guide it, guide myself and let things happen. I can't make her, I mean I can, I can make her stay. I can make Amanda stay here. I can make it happen. So why don't I? I feel like I'm stagnant right now. I feel like I've been stagnant these days. And like, go, I said I was going to go to the homeless shelter on Christmas, and I didn't. I just stayed with Amanda all day, and we ate, and we watched movies, and we talked and talked and talked, and it was incredibly self fulfilling. But w when it comes to my integrity, which I pro, I, I not, yeah, I, 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 integrity is incredibly important to me. I just, I had no integrity. In that moment, I, I, it was a selfish, selfish act that I that I made to spend time with Amanda, and that's not how I want to live my life. If I say I'm going to do something, when I say I'm going to do something, I can't let other people's reactions influence me to not do it. I can live a very fulfilling life just doing what I want to do, doing what I say I want what I want to do I want to do this I want to go to a homeless shelter I'm just fucking terrified of it I'm so scared probably because I've never done it before because I know when I get there and I'm doing it it will be amazing and interesting I'm afraid that if she leaves, I'm going to be alone. But it's so irrational. 
to think that because being alone is a state of mind and I'm not feeling accepted because she's around I'm feeling accepted because I'm making it happen because I'm connecting with people and it's like it's easy to connect with Amanda because I've done it so much that I don't have to worry about it I don't have to work as hard at it wow and that's so I'm with her and the anger this persistent anger I see it for what it is now I never realized what was happening before I mean I, I think I see it for what it is I see it differently I see it as like she's pissed off because her life what she's the life she's living is conflicting like she's a stripper I don't know I've never said that on YouTube and she's you know doesn't tell her family about it or they, they know but like no one talks about it so that's a real sociological mind fuck and her religion you know she's not actually a practicing Catholic but it was just a, her parents are and it's like round her her entire young life it's like getting drilled into her mind and so there's like this idea of openness that I have that I she said she felt safe with me that isn't what what she's been told it's not it's different hold on I'm gonna shut my phone off so she's got this conflict there's me who's like openness openness communicate no fear don't don't worry about things communicate with people no that's not that extreme it's not like don't worry well, just you know connect with people and she's not used to that I'm not used to it but she's not used to it and she hasn't had the this epiphany that I've had but she is amazing and she's been connecting a lot more than she ever was before but maybe it's just too extreme maybe this whole concept that I have is too extreme that society is going to revolt against it that it's inevitable that if you open up completely you'll be killed is that real do you feel that anger do you feel angry when I open up oh and another thing I've been April I got your video and like I try to leave a fucking text comment and they don't go through I've been I haven't even left text comments the last month I, you know every time I try like 80% of the time I try they just don't go through so I've really lost interest like really lost interest in trying like I feel like I'm, I'm pouring my thought into this thing and it's just it's as if it never existed and it's incredibly frustrating to me so I haven't been doing a lot of text but I've been watching your videos I've been watching everybody's videos that's left a response in the last month I have a, several video responses to this one I just made about global warming, about recycling. And I'm diverting from my fear again. From my own problem, I'm really afraid of this thing with Amanda. I don't know how to handle it because there is no right way. And every way will be amazing. If she leaves, I'll start communicating with someone else and it will be amazing because everything that I've learned up to this point is in me it, it stays with me people will always be afraid you can't force people to stay you can't do it I have I can't I have to let her and keep connecting I won't hold back from her from anyone there's other people I want to get to know, other women I want to get to know that I've been so afraid to get to know because I've been told I'm not supposed to. And I learn so much from other people. And I'm scared because I, I, I hadn't done this homeless shelter. I haven't even gone, I haven't even called them. I talked to my boss or my boss's husband at work today, or not today, why did I say that, like two weeks ago about it, he, we were talking about going downtown, he was giving me the address of this place, he drives down with blankets and food and hands it out to people on the street like kids, he says it just destroys you. But I want to do this. I want to be a. I want to be a source of of good. There's no such thing as good. I want to be a source of integrity, and of positive energy. 
not living in a in a life. I'm so I've been living in so much fear because of Amanda, not because of Amanda, but because I'm putting myself in a situation where I'm not making a decision, but I'm making a decision right now. She's moving out. I'm going to begin to connect with other people in a way that I've never done it before. And I'm going to continue to connect with Amanda. I've been allowing this stagnancy. I've been doing it all. I've been doing this to myself. I'm really sorry to put you guys through it. You guys. It's me. It's you. Whoever you are. Collective. People. Anybody watching, anybody subjecting themselves to this fucking agonizing torture. I really appreciate that God, everybody that I've met, I really appreciate that you guys are connecting with me, that are making an effort back with me. I'm sorry if you feel neglected, if you feel like I haven't been responding to you personally or if I have been ignoring you it's a it's a really overwhelming new technology I'm, I'm trying to find I'm afraid of it and it's really time-consuming and uh, you know YouTube has really contributed to the state of what my relationship with Amanda is right now in fact it's probably it's not the re well it's a big part of the reason why I am where I am right now because I've been spending a lot of time with my webcam and not with Amanda time that I could have but then the thing is now when I spend time with Amanda it's, it's better quality than it ever was before because of this webcam stuff because I've been learning about myself I'm really sorry if you feel neglected don't feel neglected don't expect anything from me maybe I don't know if people are getting angry because they expect me to, to be a certain way and I'm not if you expect me to be perfect if you expect me to save the day because I talk about being open because it's a, a foreign concept that a lot of people don't really do so it seems like oh this guy is gonna really help and then I fucking end up with causing a lot of pain and you feel like what the fuck what the fuck, this isn't what I was expecting. Um, Amy. Faye girl. Amy, I think it's Amy. I'm sorry that um, I haven't connected with you. I know because of what I said to Thomas about his mom dying of cancer. And you had a violent reaction to it because your mom died of cancer, I think. We didn't talk because I've been afraid and I'm sorry that I was malicious towards Thomas and I'm sorry that I've been cold to you it was like a reaction no more I feel like I'm gonna break down and start crying and I'm so nervous to do that on, on camera who does that nobody well not nobody people that are very brave but now I feel like it's subsided a little I've cried a few times the last month with Amanda very hard I hate that someone left a comment that said emo, this is the new emo kid, I'm unsubscribing. I've been in so much turmoil. I needed to make this video. And yet it wasn't quite the release that I'm looking for. I wonder if that'll ever happen. Probably not. Although you never know. Maybe it will. Maybe that's what we're all looking for. 
Is that what death is? Is that why people go crazy and form cults and then all kill each other? Like that, the uh, Jonestown Massacre? Because they think, like, death is the only real purification. I'm not afraid of death. Not anymore. I used to be. When it happens, it's just part of the cycle. I'm sure of that. And I wonder what happens to the consciousness after that. Something. Probably something. I'd be surprised if it just stopped. Maybe it'll be like a. Maybe it's like a dream. Maybe this is a dream. I mean, you don't really like think of the past. It's all like it just happened like a dream. Really, we just exist in a moment that never changes. And then our bodies get old and they die, but that moment's still continuing in that in that moment. The moment's not stopping. I wish that I knew all of you. I guess the ideal is that I knew everyone, that I knew you. But that can't happen. All that can happen is I can know a lot of, I can just keep meeting, getting to know people, meeting people, opening up to people. And stick cam's good technology for that. I think I'm going to get on stick cam tonight. I still want to cry. Like my body, my body's holding back because it's so fucking afraid. If you've watched this whole video, thank you. I don't even know why I say thank you. Because I want to share who I am with you. And I know it's time consuming and it's a choice, you know? You, we only have so much time in the day, whatever that means, but we only have so much. Our bodies are only alive for so long. And thank you. I. Thank you for spending some of this, some, some of your moments on me, listening to me, and taking in my, my mind, my consciousness. It's amazing. It's so powerful. It's so amazing. Bye. Bye for now. See ya. See ya later. I always see that. I always realize how I end my videos with a lot of them. See ya later. See ya guys. Bye. Bye for now. I don't know why I'm concerned with that. I feel like it's a little phony. But I feel like I should say goodbye at the end, even though I'm not really leaving. I'm not really going anywhere. <laughs>